Melania Trump reportedly plans to decorate the White House for Christmas one last time, despite allegedly being ambivalent to Christmas stuff. With Donald Trump set to leave the White House after losing the 2020 presidential race to Joe Biden, the Trumps are set for their final Christmas in the White House ahead of Inauguration Day in January, and Melania Trump reportedly plans to continue her tradition of decorating the White House for the holidays. TMZ reported that a rep for the First Lady said she plans to go ahead with her decor duties this year, despite leaked tapes earlier this year that seemed to confirm she was not a fan of said duties. The recordings, obtained by the First Lady's former friend and aide Stephanie Winston Wolkoff were played on Anderson Cooper 360 last month, revealing that she didn't appear to be looking forward to doing Christmas stuff. They say I'm complicit. I'm the same like him. I support him. I don't say enough I don't do enough where I am," Trump told Wolkoff in a recording made in 2018. I'm working my ass off at Christmas stuff, she continued. You know, who gives a fuck about Christmas stuff and decoration? But I need to do it, right? Secret audio tapes recently revealed Mrs. Trump criticizing the duty, saying, who gives a f about the Christmas stuff and decorations? First Lady Melania Trump will decorate the White House for Christmas one final time next month. Following her husband's election loss, Christmas 2020 will be the last holiday for which Mrs. Trump, 50, will be in charge of decorating the People's House in Washington, D.C. The typically cheerful holiday preparation comes at a tumultuous moment for both the President and First Lady. President Donald Trump, 74 is refusing to concede to his election loss to President-elect Joe Biden, while Mrs. Trump will be taking on the holiday decoration after secretly recorded tapes highlighted the First Lady's disdain for such duties last month. Stephanie Winston Wolkoff, Mrs. Trump's longtime friend and her former White House aide, shared the secret audio tapes with CNN last month while promoting her tell-all book, Melania and Me. In the tapes, Mrs. Trump was dismissive of the traditional first lady role. I'm working, my A off on the Christmas stuff, that you know, who gives a F, about the Christmas stuff and decorations, Mrs. Trump is heard saying in the tapes. But I need to do it, right? Mrs. Trump lambasted Wolkoff afterwards, criticizing her former raid as someone who released recordings of their conversations out of context and wrote a memoir of idle gossip trying to distort my character. A spokesperson for Mrs. Trump tells People the First Lady is looking forward to once again opening the People's House for Christmas next month. It is an annual tradition that she has enjoyed designing since June, Stephanie Grisham, the First Lady's press secretary and chief of staff, says. The decor will be showcased and celebrated across the country in December. Mrs. Trump will be going forward with the annual tradition in the wake of her husband's election loss. The president is refusing to admit he lost the election. Instead, he is waging what legal experts have called Hail Mary legal battles across the county, in an attempt to overturn the results. Trump has been criticized by both Democratic and Republican officials for continuing to push baseless conspiratorial theories alleging the election was stolen from him. Election officials in every state told The New York Times there is no evidence of widespread voter fraud. Trump's campaign lawyers have lawsuits ongoing in Pennsylvania, while his long-shot efforts have been struck down in Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, and Nevada, in recent days. Amid the 2020 election cycle, the Trump administration had been recruiting greeters and musicians for the 2020 holiday season on its website. Last year, Mrs. Trump opted for a patriotic and predominantly bright and white holiday theme. The 2019 whiteout theme came one year after the First Lady defended her decorative choice when social media users widely recoiled at the blood-red trees she filled the White House with in 2018 comparing them to dystopian imagery from The Handmaid's Tale. We are in 21st century and everybody has a different taste, Mrs. Trump said at the time, adding, I think they look fantastic.